Hi guys, hope you're well. Um, as normal, it's been a while since I've vlogged anything for you. I think the last vlog that you saw was my weekend in Bristol, I think it was anyway. Um, yeah, so I've put that vlog up. I've since then also done a video for you about the Misty tool, um, which I'm absolutely loving. If you watch a video, you'll see why. And today I'm just in the craft room. It's Tuesday here. It's just a bit of a crappy day, really. It's pouring down with rain outside and really, really grey. We were going to be going out. It's school holidays, so normally we, um, I don't get so much time in the craft room we sort of go out I go out with Sophie and we go and visit places but we're not doing that obviously on a rainy day so I'm in the craft room I'm actually feeling a bit poorly I've got a really bad sore throat and I've got a bit of a cold so I'm a bit sniffly and a bit watery eyed and I look like crap I haven't even showered and done my hair this morning but you know that's life so I thought I'd hide in the craft room Sophie's got a friend coming round so she's going to be happy indoors in her bedroom <clears throat> and I'm just in the craft room but it's a, I've done a lot of craft stuff lately that I don't think I've shared with you it's been up in various places online but I haven't vlogged any of it um so yeah I thought I'd just give you a rundown on what's been going on in the craft room and what I'm up to really so what should I start with first cards that I'm making for workshop on Thursday are these three cards here which are really really nice they're quite they're obviously very plain and simple um but we use the Tim Holtz distress crayons to get that sort of textured color on there some embossing powder to get the edge, um, you know, the outline raised, and it's just, yeah, they're prettier sort of in real life than what they look. They look very plain on simple on camera. The set we're using is this Avery Owl. Um, what is it called? I can't remember. Oh, I don't know. Well, very good. There it is down the bottom. Very good. So yeah, we're playing with that. It's brand new to us. We've never done it at club before and um yeah making those cards i've actually ordered another set of those um, and i'm waiting for them to arrive in the post so that we've got two sets to be passed around at club i've been doing the kathy racks 30 day coloring challenge as you know most of these cards you would have seen they've all been on instagram or up online somewhere but i got into really liking making these very simple little cards with these lawn fawn um sets this isn't lawn form but that sort of card where it's a very very simple stamp set and it makes a clean and simple type card i'm really digging the clean and simple cards at the minute and loving these um, finished frame dies that i've got which we also use we're using on thursday you can see they've got little dash lines around the edge and they're really really nice frames to use so yeah super simple cards but it was a good way of getting some coloring done for that kathy racks thing and it's really got me into these lawn form stamps which i've actually ordered loads more of i'm waiting for them to arrive as well so that's another order that's on its way i've been doing some scrapbooking this layout i haven't shared online yet i need to actually get some pictures of it properly I've, i think i've done a little sneak peek of a picture that i took on my phone um but i haven't done a proper picture to get it up on my website yet but i love this this is the sunshine and happiness um collection from simple stories it's a new collection and it's so pretty so yeah i printed out these photos which again were just iphone pictures it's this is me and my niece rosa I was looking after her one day and we went into my dressing room and she let me straighten her hair and I put a little bit of makeup on her, you know, a little bit of blusher and stuff. So we were looking in the mirror and we were just doing sort of girly selfies in the mirror. Um, so they're not the best quality photos, but printed, printed out in black and white. And these are only four by four. They actually came out OK. But um, yeah, I love the layout. This collection is just gorgeous, like really, really like that. And I actually added texture. Where can you see it? I don't know if you'll see it in the light there. Can you see there's like some embossed, um, sorry, not embossed, um, some hearts on there which are done with texture paste. Um, yeah, maybe see them up there. Yeah, look there. And also lots of ink splatters and yeah, really like this one. So that's got to be photographed and get put up on the blog. I done this one at last Thursday was my scrapbook club. So I done this one at scrapbook club. This again is my niece Rosa, nephew Austin, and they, they were here. It was the same day actually I took that photo. We, I was looking after them and we'd done some baking. So we made these really simple cupcakes. So I just made this layout of cupcakes this collection is one that i picked up in america what was it called it's mm, you're invited by i think is it echo park you're invited collection lots of stitching on there and cut this cupcakes out on the silhouette 
and backed it with all the different papers yeah and again I like this I feel like this layout's got a little something missing I don't know if I should have put some texture in the background or some ink splatters or something but overall I'm pleased that that, that picture's done and this one I can't remember if I've showed you this already this one I done ages ago actually I think it was at the last scrapbook club before that one so it was yeah a few weeks ago but I don't think I've actually shared it with you it's been sitting on top of my pile waiting to be put away so my nephew Austin um, and I cut this star cut file and back to all the stars with all different patterned papers I think they're my mind's eye papers um, I might have shown you that one already I, don't, I can't remember but basically this pile has been sort of waiting to be put away in my scrapbook albums but today because it's a super rainy day you know I've got all my albums up here if you've watched my album share videos you know I've gone through all the early well I've gone through all the albums now but the early ones as I'm filming them I tell you about that some pages are like missing there's still stuff on my computer that needs putting away um you know and we need to actually still print the photos out and get the albums made so what i done early this morning was dragged sophie out here to be my helper and i went through all literally every single folder on my hard drive and on my laptop and started to make a list well not even make a list i'll show you in a minute i've printed out the folders the photos sorry of all the ones that are missing so i normally have a list printed out i think i've shown you this before which is a really sort of messy list but basically when i'm doing my scrapbooking I'm writing everything down, so 2016 for example, every time I have a batch of photos I'm writing down what they are and as I make the layout I cross it off so I know that it's gone into the album. So I've got that for all years, as I say, really old scruffy list and you know like back to 2011 there's days missing but I went back even further than that just to check like did my album start at well really the year 2000 I have got from 1990 to 2000 that's that first album at the beginning but they're very old photos well you'll see if you've seen my album shares you know what I mean anyway but I went back on the hard drives and computer to make sure that I hadn't missed anything else and I had missed a hell of a lot so this is just a fraction of it this is like Legoland their first trip to Legoland which was in 2002 I found some photos on the hard drive that have never been put into the album so I've printed out some photos and put it all into a page and I decided I'm going to do this for each lot that needs doing and just put a note of when it was where we were so this is Legoland again but the following year and these photos had never been printed out so I've just printed them out quite basic just small you get nine per page like an A4 page and I'm going to just get them done Christmas 2003 see the pictures had never been done for that they're not the best fit pictures and obviously, obviously at the time I thought oh they're not really worth printing out they don't need to go in the album but now I'm looking back through the hard drives and the computer they really should be in the albums even if they're not the best pictures they need to go in so yeah so I've gone through and got all these photos like a silly little photo shoot the girls done this is in 2006 but the pictures have never been scrapped so I've gone through and printed them out Sophie in all her princess dresses that she had went through a phase of only wanting to be a princess oh, why are you not focusing um yeah so we've got all these princess well, and mini mouse <laughs> um things so that, again they should be scrapped rather than just sitting on the hard drive so i've kind of created myself a hell of a lot of work really and this is only going up where did we start we got sophie's sixth birthday 2007 we went to london zoo we got a whole trip to florida that i didn't have in my albums this is one of our trips in 2008 we actually done discovery cove um with my brother sister-in-law this is us four and this is alan's mum we went to discovery cove so yeah all those photos were never sort of printed out and done so i'm going to do a double page layout of that us with the dolphins us in sea world um coco beach the same holiday but we drove to coco beach this is the same holiday again but it was the disney dreams come true parade so they're not oh while we were there this was um shani's 16th birthday and she got i've made a note up there that she got a tiffany bracelet and a tiffany ring um so you know that needs to be scrapped they're crappy sort of photos but they've got to be put in really so yeah so i've created myself work um, meeting all the characters in Disney 2008 so this is when we had like a character meal and then Sophie's seventh birthday in like April of 2008 so again not the best photos but they should be in the album so that is what I've oops sorry um 
yeah, started a bit of a mission really, going back through the really old photos, let alone finishing off what's already on my list, which needs doing for like the years from about 2010 to 2014. I knew there was a little slot where there's some pages missing, but this has gone back even earlier than that and there's loads to do. So yeah, I've printed the photos, put them in pages as you can see, and I thought that'd help me just get them done rather than just having a list. If I've actually got the photos printed out, my plan is that I grab one of those, you know, grab a page that needs doing, then grab one of my kits and just get it made, get it done. They're not gonna be the best, but as long as they're scrapped, it's fine. I have so much stuff now, because we do so much more scrapping now and take more photos. I have enough trouble trying to keep up with, like these are my, you know, 2015, 2016 ones up here. I have enough trouble trying to keep up with the current photos let alone going back and doing all the the really old ones but they have got to be done so yeah so today on a day like today where it's raining outside Sophie's happy to be indoors with her friend that's what I'm gonna crack on with um, what else oh there's also a delivery that's just arrived that I haven't showed with you I haven't actually even opened it yet am I gonna be able to open it with one hand oh hold on let me put you down Let's see if I can open it this is a delivery that's just arrived and I think this is a Copic order. Let's have a look. Yeah, we placed a sneaky little Copic order. Um, let's have this. Here. I'm not sure if you're on camera or not, but I'll get it out and show you. I say sneaky little, as always with Copic orders, they still add up to a big amount of money. Um, oh, and I've got some free washi tape and some Haribos that you always get. But yeah, that's a Copic order, just a group Copic order. Obviously not just me and Shani, this is my whole group again. We just worked out what pens we, what everyone wanted and placed an order. So that needs bagging up and sorting into everyone's um, bags and giving out to them. And that's about it. I think that's all I've got to share with you for a minute. But yeah, I thought I'd give you an update. As I say, I look and feel a bit like crap today and I haven't done my hair because I'm feeling a bit poorly. I've just brought myself, well, Sophie's room from the shop and brought me some lockets. So it's gonna make me feel better because I've got a sore throat. And that's it. So I'm gonna crack on. I'll try and keep you updated with what I'm doing. Um, oh, I can hear my phone buzzing behind me. My phone's ringing. So I'll speak to you again soon. Thanks then, bye. Just a quick update, it's about 45 minutes since I last vlogged for you and I've got one double page layout done. So these are the, the ones that went back the earliest. This is Legoland 2002, so I've popped it all into the 2002 album. Um, yes, yeah, so I thought I'd give you a quick overview of that. So yeah, got the boat photos that side and then all the little photos of Sophie and Shani as well here um, yeah over on that side so quite simple like I said these are going to be pretty simple layouts because I just want to get them in here I use the um, Scoot collection by I think it's Echo Park which has got some lovely bright colours in there so it's a boys collection really but these bright primary colours obviously worked well with all the the Lego bricks and everything over there Amy Tangerine thickers for the, the sentiment these are called Other Half, and then I use the Tim Holtz um, Small Talk words um, just to add some tiny little words around everywhere. Um, yeah, so that's it. So, yeah, quite a simple one, but it's done and it's in the album. Okay, guys, another quick update for you. It's about an hour since I last updated. I got another layout, well, I got another two done. I'll show you the other side in a minute. This is the other Lego Land one. Um, so this is 2003 so obviously it's a, a whole year later um, but yeah it's done this little one with these pictures that I had not a great deal to this one kept it quite simple done some stitching the whole collection is the um, Simple Stories Life in Colour collection I used thickers um, that are American Crafts I think they're called Rockaby in white obviously again just added lots of little stitching to all the sentiments so it's quite a basic one I also put stitching put it into the thing it's quite hard for you to see when it's in the plastic but yeah done stitching all through the title so that was a one the next one I'm not so sure about this one it's Christmas 2003 it's the Maggie Holmes confetti collection and just some pink sparkly gems and gold stars and things I had it's very scattered and everywhere 
but to be honest none of the pictures were the best I didn't want to do sort of grid style and have them lined up like I have on that and the last one so I scattered them over almost a bit oldie oldie scrapbook style just with some pretty things from the Maggie Holmes collection it was actually quite nice using this Maggie Holmes confetti for Christmas obviously the girls are both wearing matching pink pajamas so it really pulled out the pink of that but yeah it's quite busy and quite blingy I suppose you've got lots of glitter and gems and stars but it is Christmas you know so it's fine to just have something a bit fun pick out the color pink yeah and and work with it really so that's it that's my update for a minute and I'll be back when I've got some more hi guys I'm back with a final update for you from the craft room um, so this is the last layout I just done I used the Bella Boulevard Molly collection um, a big Heidi Swap large beautiful word Amy Tangerine thickers, um, yeah, and a few odd pink gems. All this is all from the Molly collection, and it had this bit already that said every girl should be, and I just added all the beautiful princesses, and this is Sophie in all her princess dresses back in 2006, so 10 years ago now, um, which is quite unbelievable. And um, yeah, and just embellishments, as I say, from the, the Molly collection. Um, I'm going to call it a day now. As you can probably hear, my cold is getting worse. So I think I'm going to wrap it up in the craft room for tonight. And hopefully I get some time to get back out here tomorrow and, and crack on with the rest of these layouts here. But I'll speak to you again then. Hi guys, it's a few days since I last um, vlogged anything for you. Um, back in the craft room, obviously. We've had a weekend in between, so I've been super busy. I'm feeling better, which is good, although I do have a slight sore throat still. It's still lingering, but I am feeling fine. Well, yeah, we've had a weekend. Alan and I were busy, done the garden and stuff over the weekend. So yeah, super busy. And now it is Monday morning. Well, it's Monday lunchtime, actually. And I'm back in the craft room to give you an update and hopefully get some more crafting done. So last time we spoke, I was showing you all the layouts i had to catch up on i've only actually done one more since then um which is this one here which is the one of sophie's seventh birthday and i actually reprinted the photos the photos that i printed out and had in my pile to do um i printed at four by six but then i wanted to make this layout i saw this on my pinterest board where someone had made like these little polaroid type photos and put them all down a page so i reprinted the photos to work better in that size um yeah and just got this layout done it's not showing up brilliant because i put it in its plastic sleeve already but you've got like six polaroid style photos on there and lots of little little embellishments on each one um yes so that's quite cool i'm trying to think what collection this is but i can't off the top of my head remember it but i'll try i'll link it below um when i find out other things that have happened i've had a delivery as always um you know i was saying to you that i was really into my lawn fawn stuff and the sort of clean and simple cards that you get from lawn fawn well this is my lawn fawn but this was all i had in my lawn fawn collection before so i had what have I got? I've got this Christmas set that I brought to do at the Christmas workshop, um, the Christmas in July workshop. I've got the little otter and the matching die, which you've seen these because obviously I've made cards with these already. I had the little so jelly one, which is the um, jellyfish and starfish, the hamster and the little um, skunk I had with the die as well. But yeah, I had a delivery and now I have a few more to the collection. So I brought the little winter penguin which is really sweet. The Thankful Mice. I don't know if I love these, but I thought I'd give them a try because they're very sweet. The Year Four, which is the hippo one. Hippo birdie to you. And the Hedgehogs, or Hedgehugs. Shani already had this one and I really, she made a card, it was really sweet, so I thought I'm gonna have to order it. And then I bought this one, which is not a mini set, but it's still along a similar line. This is called Mum and Me, or Mom, because it's American. Um, so you've got um, like mummies and babies on there. Very sweet little woodland animals and some nice sentiments down there. So that was one delivery. Another delivery that arrived was my, my favourite things, dragons, um, which I had to get hold of. I was going to place an order for, direct from my favourite things in America, um, but I ended up putting too much in the shopping cart and it was costing a fortune on shipping, so I ended up ordering from Dies to Die For. I ordered this and a couple of other things. I ordered this um, reverse uh, mirror image stamp, which I've actually tried, and it didn't come out brilliantly, so maybe I was using the wrong ink or doing something not that well, but I will give it another play, and I was only sort of quickly, quickly playing with it. Shani was here 
here over the weekend and we we got it out and quickly done it but it wasn't amazing so maybe i'm doing something wrong maybe there's a technique to it i need to know but yeah the exciting bit was these magical dragons which i absolutely love they're everyone's using at the moment they're absolutely brilliant i've only made one card so far which has been on my instagram and on facebook anyway but i'll show you it's just here which is this little you're on fire which as soon as the stamp set came I just opened it up and started playing and ended up making this card. So it's along the same lines of those very simple sort of clean and simple cards that are very in and very modern at the minute, still with a stitched frame or pierced frame, this one. But super cute and I really, really like this. And I don't, I never go for things that are sort of, uh, you know, mystical creatures or, you know, fairies or anything sort of like that. But these are just really adorable. I really, really like them. Look at that little baby, baby dragon. He's so sweet. So I've seen some really nice cards on Pinterest and Instagram that I want to try and um, copy, case, whatever you want to call it, be inspired by. But yeah, there's some lovely cards out there. So yeah, so I've come in the craft room to play again today. Um, and that's it for now. I haven't got anything else. Oh, I've been really busy as well doing the, you know, I told you a while ago we had a photography shoot. Um, well, I've been getting lots of orders for the photos. So I've been doing a lot of printing and sending photos out, sending photos off to the printers and editing and that sort of stuff. So yeah, been busy doing that kind of thing as well. And that is it for now. I'm still aware, by the way, that I haven't given you a bunny update, which the bunnies are now, really, how old are they now? Five or six weeks? I can't think, you know. But yeah, they're super old and you haven't even seen them yet, so I must show you the bunnies soon. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. I'm gonna crack on and do some playing. And I've also, I've rigged up the big camera up there. I wanna try and film some stuff for you. Um, I really wanna try and suss out this process videos. I know I've done a few for you, but I'm struggling with them because when I make a layout, like I said to you before, I just sit and play and I can't, seem to get that to film brilliantly i don't know we shall see maybe that's all you're supposed to do when i watch other people's process videos they're just sitting and playing and then they voice over and it's okay but as i'm trying to do it i think i'm i don't know i move things on and off the paper and i turn it round and twist it grab something else put it back and i just think that must be a bit boring for you to watch but i don't know i shall see we'll give it a go today and see if anything comes of it but I'm, i do want to get some more stuff up on youtube so yes, that is all I have to tell you about, I think, today. Oh, I also, Shani and I sorted out our swatch book and ink drawer, can you see down here? Which I'm just about to film a video on. I've had questions about this swatch book, so I'm just gonna um, film a video on how I do that. Uh, it's only gonna be sort of a short and sweet video, but just so people know where they can buy those book from and how I do it, really. So yes, that is it for now. I'll be back later on. See ya. Okay guys, it's a few hours since I last spoke to you and I thought I'd show you the two cards that I made in the craft room. I didn't get any scrapbooking done, but I did play and make two cards. So I made this little cute one with the dragon set again, the My Favourite Things um, Magical Dragons, like I showed you earlier. But so sweet, he's so cute to colour and I really, really like those. And look at the dinky, dinky, dinky little stars. Um, I'll show you what they're from in a second, but let me show you the second card. This was um, from the Lawn Fawn, what was it called? Mum and Me set. Um, and I made this one with little gathering of owls on there. So cute, and look at the teeny little tiny clouds. Let me take you across and I'll show you what they're from. They are from this little set of dies here, which actually come with the two finished frames. Hold on, they're just not in their right place. Let me just grab them. Oops, that's easy. So yeah, they come with that set. That's the actual whole set. Um, was it Avery Owl? I think it was. Avery Owl finished frames, and it comes with all these little tiny elements, the teeny little clouds and teeny little stars. And yeah, really, really good set to have. So on the card they look they're so sweet i really really like them impressed with the clouds and the little stars were just perfect for on here um i think i might go back and add a little bit of wink of stella onto those stars but but yeah i really really like those cards so that's probably going to be it for me for in the craft room tonight i or today i should say i mean i won't come back out here tonight um I've also filmed a video for you, which I've just put up um, and it's got a few emails already. So I think you guys are liking it, which is always nice. Thank you very much. And that's it. And I shall hopefully see you again tomorrow. What is tomorrow? Tuesday. I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. Depends what the weather's like. Might go out for the day. But anyway, I'll speak to you soon.
Morning guys, hope you're well. Um, hope your day's going well so far. Do you know what's happened this morning, what I've done, which I'm absolutely gutted about? Let me show you, I'll turn you around to show you. This is my Filofax. Look what I've done. Look, you can't even see how bad it is. I dropped, I was doing my nails, I painted my nails, I thought I'd be all very good this morning. My nail varnish was terrible yesterday, I thought I'd paint my nails. So I got the nail varnish remover out and dropped a drip on here and I've ruined my Filofax. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm hoping that maybe I can get some, I don't know, ink or dye or something that will match and blend it in a bit. But yeah, gutted, absolutely gutted. So not a good start to today. On the plus side, I've just had a delivery. Well, two things to show you. Actually, let me show you this first before the delivery. Shani brought me this the other day. Um, it's a belated birthday present. Um, and she'd done a bit of research, but well, she knew that I wanted to learn how to do my handwriting a lot nicer or learn a little bit of calligraphy. Not that I'm majorly into it, but I absolutely hate my handwriting. I've said this before, like, I really hate my handwriting and I'd love to learn how to do this. Um, so she brought me this as a bit of a starting point, really. So some calligraphy pens and this nib and ink book. Um, and apparently this lady, I haven't looked into it yet, but she told me to look online. This lady runs courses that you can follow or you can sign up to and do so I'm hoping that I'll learn a bit of calligraphy and there's lots of practice sheets in here there's sort of you know how it all works obviously everything that you would normally get in a book um, but yeah so that's really exciting so I'm excited to, to try that what was that page for the nibs there look how pretty those illustrations are um, yeah so I've got that to learn about and play with which is quite cool and the book itself is just a lovely book but I've also just had a delivery this morning Posty just knocked on the door which I'm about to open I've taken off the address label and I think in here yes it is it is body shop stuff so I thought I'd share this with you they were doing a special the other day they were doing I think if you spent £25, you've got a bundle of goodies worth £20 for free, plus 30% off of everything as well. So it was really, really good value. I just brought my normal, well, I use this chamomile cleansing oil to take my makeup off at night, but I also use the butter one, but they were actually out of stock of the butter, so I just brought the oil. Um, and I brought my normal, again, I use this every evening, morning and evening, the vitamin E um, moisturising cream or Aqua Boost Sorbet, as it's actually called. And I also brought a new nail file, just a basic nail, nail file. So that was, I think, about, I think came to about 26 quid for those bits, which, as I say, had their discount on there. Um, oh, sorry, I'm lying to you. Look, I brought two of those. But yeah, it came to about 26 quid, I think I spent, because it was 30% off. Um, of the normal prices anyway but then you've got this bundle of goodies for free which was quite cool so I got the body shop coconut shower cream the body butter which is absolutely lovely if you've ever used this before you'll know the smell of it is just gorgeous and the lip butter so those three things are free and I just bought that as I say and I brought that at 30% off so yeah really really cool but if you haven't tried this I don't know what you know I'm not massively into my makeup and stuff but this vitamin E um, Aqua Boost Sorbet is the best thing ever for your skin. It just soaks in like water and it's really, really nice. Makes your skin lovely and soft. So yeah, that's my little delivery for the day. So that's good. My book is good, but my Filofax, I'm gutted about. I just, I don't know what I'm going to do about it, but yeah that's what that's life i guess things happen don't they um another note quickly mo manning has just posted up another digi image for me to download and play with i wish she'd stop doing this she's putting up too many nice images and there's just not enough hours in the day to print them out and color them but i'm gonna have to find time today um yeah what's the time now it's almost 11 o'clock sophie's actually still sleeping she had a late night last night so we're not heading out anyway so i might sneak into the craft room for a bit now and quickly download and print out and, and colour that image um, but it's a really cute one a little girl with a little cat and it's so sweet so I really want to colour that so if I do I shall share it with you in a minute um, but yeah that's the updates for today so let me know if you've got any tips about my Filofax what can I do what how can I like restore the colour on leather or something I don't know I don't know let me know if you've got any ideas anyway speak to you soon bye
Evening guys, just popping on really quickly to say um, that I did manage to sneak some time in the craft room today and I actually made a card with the new Mo Manning image. Excuse the mess on the desk, I haven't tidied up properly yet but this is the little card that I made um, and I also um, filmed a process video for it. It's a super simple card, I deliberately kept it simple but what I did do, which I haven't done for a long time, is paper um, piecing. So yeah, it's really nice to do that again. So I used this Simple Stories um, pad and I chose a lovely floral print out of there which obviously is round the edge of the card and on the the dungarees or the baby grow or whatever you want to call it but yeah it's a process video going up for you anyway that should hopefully be edited and going up um i think tomorrow although i have got a bit of a busy day tomorrow i've got to go out and about and do a few things so it might not definitely get up tomorrow but if not it'll be the following day anyway but yeah so that's it as i say just wanted to quickly show you that and say good night really and so it's now thursday i've been in the craft room most of the day today so if he's got a friend around they've been indoors and shani has been working all day so I haven't even been able to Skype Shani. So I've managed to crack on with quite a lot of stuff. Um, well, actually, it's probably not going to look a lot when I show you. Oh, there's my phone beeping. Um, but I've made this card for a friend of mine. She asked for a card for a friend of hers who was who's turning 50. So I made this card using the Stamping Up Number of Years stamp set and matching dies, which I really, really like. I've actually made a process video um, for this card as well because it's such a pretty card and it's really nice to, to, to use these. Yeah, so I made a video to show you. I finished off this card, which I actually started doing yesterday but didn't quite finish it off, which is for the um, Besties design team um, group and blog. So yeah, so a design team card. And really pretty. Used completely different colours for me, which is a little bit strange. But yeah, um, well, I shouldn't really be showing you this. It's not actually going up live yet, but, but I made it anyway. And then I made this card, which actually looks quite simple, but is actually quite a tricky card. There's a lot of techniques involved with this because we make... Our, this is going to be my workshop card on Thursday, so it's a little bit of a weird one for my ladies that come along. We don't normally do something quite as, I don't know, young as this or different as this, but it's yeah, it's quite a lot of techniques. We're making our own background, we're doing this ink blended background and some coffee colouring and yeah, lots of sort of different stuff. It's actually quite a difficult card, although it looks simple. I know it sounds weird, but, but it is. So it'd be interesting to see how that comes out and who does a good job or not. But yeah, fun one to play with. Um, um, I brought this stamp set or stamp and die set a while ago it's my favorite things and um, yeah the other day they sent out a sale I've actually placed an order so I'll show you when that comes um, but they sent out a sale email and this is in the sale now so I'm gutted because I paid full price for it and now it's gone into the sale but anyway that's life so there's a little pile of stuff that we use for this workshop and there is other stuff as well but that's just some basics so yeah so I've been busy doing that I also finished off another card that I can't show you yet because it's for a friend's birthday and I can't <laughs> this will be up before i see her to give her a card so i can't show you oh my phone's still beeping okay and i'm just about to load up the car now it's thursday evening so i'm about to go out to copic club um, so I'm about to load my pens and a few basic bits in the car and head up to the hall to do our copy club this evening, which should be a good one. Um, I want to try and get some tips on how to colour eyes, like these besties eyes, you know, they have those really large, big eyes. I want to like learn how to colour those a bit better. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be asking, see if anyone's got any tips and advice for me. And I think as normal, we're ordering curry and having takeaway up there. So I'm quite looking forward to that because I'm really hungry actually tonight. So yeah, I'm going to take the camera up and hopefully film a little bit for you. Um, yeah, just so you can see what we do. Not a lot goes on. And I think it's actually going to be a bit of a quiet one because I think three of the ladies can't make it tonight. So it'll be relatively quiet there. But yeah, hopefully I can film a bit and show you what we're colouring at least. So yeah, so I shall see you in a bit. Bye. Hello, how are you guys? Long time no vlog. I know it won't seem like a long time for you because it'll all go up in one vlog, but for me, I haven't vlogged anything for over a week, I think was the last time that I'd done anything for you. But I realised that I'm late in letting you know who the winner of the giveaway was. I said I'd um, announce the winner on the 15th and it's actually now, I'm trying to look at the calendar, the 19th, so apologies for that. But I'm just about to do that now. I've brought my laptop out here and I've just been looking through on the YouTube video. I don't know what you can see much behind me. And there's, um, well, there's 41 comments on the vlog that I put up, but 28 
different people obviously it counts the comments that I reply as well so I had to take that off and there's 28 different people so what I'm going to do is go on random.org I've got it opened up on here on a little tab and I'm going to put in so it picks a number a random number between number one and 28 count up who that is and let you know who the winner is so bear with me just two seconds while I um go on oh, hold on let me see if I can do this and show you hold up let's see so you don't think there's any cheating going on so this is random oh can you see over here i put in 28 generate a number da, 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 and it's picked number 21 okay so number 21 is the winner so let me go back over here and i'm going to scroll all the way down and obviously count up i know i could do it backwards but i'll just make sure i do it right so i'm going to scroll my way back up and find comment number 21 and whoever that is you're the winner so let me pause you for just a second and then i'll count my way up and then i'll come back with the winner okay i'm back i've just counted up and the winner is this one here which is sheree nearer and i think you're from new zealand um so yeah sheree well done you're the winner thumbs up you're getting all those pens and everything um sent out to you um oops let me put the camera then um yeah so get in touch with me or comment on this video or somehow find a way of getting in touch with me. my email address is on there or leave a comment or something um so that i know that you've got in touch and i'll send all that out to you um i suppose we better put a date on that just in case whoever that sheree doesn't get in touch with me so if you don't get in touch with me within the next month so it was the 19th today, so the 19th of September, we'll do a redraw. So yeah, so hopefully you're watching and you get in touch. Um, but yeah, that's it for the little draw. I haven't got much else to share with you. As I say, it's been school holidays. I haven't vlogged for a week. It's school holidays and we've been doing lots of other stuff instead of me sitting in the craft room playing. So um, what have we done? We've had a trip up to Ikea. We've been out to oh a new landscape gardens that we found, which was lovely. It was called Paynes Hill Park in Surrey. Um, I did actually post it on my blog. So if you scroll through my blog, you'll see some photos that we took there. We had a bit of a fun day out with the cameras um, and took along our friend Kay and sort of half taught her how to use her new camera um what else has happened mm, i can't think really from ikea i picked up let me show you what i brought in ikea this unit this is a kind of messy area of my craft room you don't see this side that much which is basically i got photos up on the wall here i've got a picture there at the minute of my nephew that i printed out i'm going to give that to my brother um and i normally sit my laptop over here so it's a bit like my laptop area silhouette portrait sewing machine and general stuff lives over here but underneath i brought this little unit for my printer to sit on this is an ikea um like my bin just lives over here this is an ikea bester unit um which is really good it was only i think 20 quid and i think you had to pay five or extra to get a shelf so 25 quid for the whole thing just a white square cube but my printer or printers i should say because i've got the canon one and my little brother printer over there sit absolutely perfectly on there and also the shelf this should be around the other way oh try and turn you around but yeah the shelf's perfect for my copic um and under there is just the foot for my sewing machine so obviously when i'm going to use the sewing machine i just pull that foot out so it's given me a little bit of space before my printer was just sitting on a um like a really useful box which was fine but this is a lot more usable so for 25 quid it's it's made quite a good good little area under there for my printer and some other stuff um what else to show you i have oh, let me move the camera out of the way i have just had a delivery of photography paper not that exciting but if you're into photography it's quite exciting i always buy this ilford um premium plus paper it's a really really nice pearl paper and it, it looks lovely so if you look online for that you'll be you'll be happy with that and then i also tried this one which i haven't tried before it's just their slightly cheaper version it's a little bit thinner and not their not so not um premium plus it's just premium so i thought i'd give that a go um so yeah that's a little bit of a boring delivery but this one's much more exciting this is from my favorite things um my favorite thing stamps this has literally just arrived this morning i did unfortunately have to pay customs on it so i'm trying to cover up my address there um yeah i did have to pay customs on it which was a bit of a bummer but hopefully worth it i'm not going to open the box right now because what i'm going to do if you keep watching my channel i'm just about to rig up the camera behind me and film a sort of unboxing um of the my favorite things stuff it's not a massive massive haul 
Um, but Shani and I, it's a combined order between me and Shani when we got some bits in the sale. So um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to sort of share with you what we got in the sale. And I will put prices in there as well because there's nothing worse than watching, well, for me, I hate watching people's hauls when they don't tell you what they paid for things. It really, really bugs me. It's like then you've got to go and Google and find it out for yourself and see where the cheapest place you can find it. You might just as well tell me what you paid for it and where exactly where you got it from. But anyway, that's my little bugbear. But I'm going to go and film a video for you now and I promise I will tell you the prices. So I think I'm going to wrap this vlog up. I'm not sure what footage is on here. As I say, it's been a bit of a weird one because it's school holidays and there's no proper routine at the minute and we're doing all different things. Um, so I'm going to wrap this vlog up, edit it all, get it up for you so that you know who the winner is of the draw as well and yeah the next video you see go up will be that my favorite things one and i'm going to start vlogging again properly i promise um but that is it i've just realized you can see my burn on my head look look how bad this is i burnt my head with my hair curlers i have to keep covering it up so stupid but anyway um i shall see you again very very soon thank you again for watching and yeah definitely win what was it sherry Get in touch with me to claim your prize. I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now. Bye.